Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and this is Transport Fever, the One Hub Let's Play Speed Build series. And we're watching uh, one of our trains, well, kind of obviously really, uh, heading out of North Window, which is back over there, with those very impressive rocks. Uh, heading into Three Sisters, it's kind of a mini commuter route, going between our twin towns, as you may recall, of Merrick Mitten, which are down here somewhere, there they are. Merrick Butte and East Mitten. Yeah, going through North Window to Three Sisters and all the way back again. Um, we've rolled on about a year and a half since you were last with me. And I've done a number of essential replacements of buses and trucks and a few trains, actually including this one. Um, it was running uh, a service with Alco PAs and I think there were Pacific Daylight wagons of some description anyway. Um, 19 odd years old, it was getting kind of expensive, uh, so I've upgraded the capacity and uh, introduced a slightly cheaper consist of locomotive and some unnaturally cheap Amtrak wagons. Uh, so we've done that, but uh, we're not going to spend much time looking at that, to be honest, because we've got other things to do. But before we set off, this is a very busy looking map, isn't it? I like that. Uh, a quick poke at our current finances and as you can see last year 1989 uh, we managed an income of 475 million not too bad I suppose and a profit of merely 170 million I, I, I don't know what to do with all this money I'm going to try and spend some of it today if I can and already at the very beginning of March we're already over 25 million in profit yeah, I think the business is going quite well. There are some routes, um, and can I point at one or two? I think I can, actually. The last freight route we added uh, in the last episode, and I'm going in entirely the wrong direction. Anyone would think I didn't know this map. Uh, Stagecoach Wash is all the way back over here. No, it's not. <laughs> Yeah, da, da. it's somewhere around here. Yeah, it's over here. That's where it is. Down here. That's it. Stagecoach wash. Thank you. Uh, yeah, this line here, the bulk freight coming from our sort of farm goods hub outside of our capital city of Olgetto Monument Valley. Uh, that's not making money. Uh, it lost six, oh my goodness, 6.66 6 million last year. And it is our um, least profitable, <laughs> our most costly route at the moment. The other one is the steel route we set up previous to that, where I'm running trucks from the mines, the coal and the iron ore, into the steel plant here, and running a couple of trains, uh, sending the steel off to the manufacturing plant uh, over the other side of uh, Big Hogan. Uh, that's still not making money. And I have a suspicion we will have to address that in, uh, if not the next, then certainly the an episode very soon. So I do want that to start making money. Now, what we're going to do today is look at freight again in uh, and deal with a couple of issues. The first one we're going to look at is a continuation, really, of where we were last episode. And that's dealing with some of the issues around this part of the map, which is the stagecoach stage coach wash area. Uh, as you may recall, uh, we've got a big goods train coming up here delivering all sorts of freight to the Brigham's Hug Freight Hub here. And then we've got trucks delivering it out to these three nearby cities. And I had, had put trains in to send uh, other goods out to Eagle Mesa over here and Sentinel Mesa down here. Um, those two, if we actually, let's go back to the, <laughs> back to the hub, uh, as you can, oh I need to, I need to gear here don't I, overview. Uh, as you can see they're not picking up much, all the, the freight appears to be going into the truck depot. So the plan is, and I suggested this last time, is I will replace these trains here, going to Eagle and Sentinel Mesas, coming from the hub here, to actually have direct services from the main hub here. Um, now I knew I was going to do this, so what did I do in the last episode? 
I totally failed to prepare this station to do that. I sort of had it in the back of my mind, and then, as you may recall, spent a little bit of time, actually quite a bit of time, faffing around uh, with... Uh, just pause this for a second so I can keep an eye on... Horse pasture commercial. Um, oh, your, your, yeah, quite old trucks. Uh, we will replace you at some point. I'm not sure if we'll do it today. Um, yeah, so I spent some time faffing around with this, this station and yet still didn't equip it to do what I actually want to do, which is send uh, freight out to Sentinel and Eagle Mesa. So we will come back and deal with that. Uh, the first one I want to look at, though, is our main hub up here. Uh, the freight hubs, which are picking up loads and loads and loads of freight from the main hub or the main manufacturing hub down here, which started off merely as a food factory, but it's now a collecting point for oil, for construction materials, for food, for, for everything. And then shipping all that stuff back up here for distribution to pretty much every other town on the map. As you can see, lots and lots of routes. And a fair amount of cargo stacking up. Uh, some of these are quite old routes. And if we look at the vehicles deployed, um, one train on Mer on Promise Rock, rather, which is down here. So that's the green line. You can see it disappearing there. Uh, yeah, that could do with two trains, and that's quite old. So we should hopefully save some money by replacing that by a uh, by a younger model, as it were. Um, and the Merrick Mitten which needs larger capacity basically and again old Alcos 18 years old they're getting a little bit expensive uh, now so I think again just cost cutting to uh, to replace those with uh, some better and some newer and sexier looking uh, locomotives most of which of course will come from the Steam Workshop and there'll be links to all the stuff that I use within the game uh, as usual from the from the workshop uh, there'll be links to to the workshops uh, locations in the description below and also to the steam collection where I've tried to bundle them all together into one big collection uh, just might might make it easier if you want to sort of use similar mods uh, to find them all together in that one place anyway that's what we're planning to do today um, a little bit of quick jiggery pokery with these routes and then some major work uh, on the Brigham's uh, Brigham's tomb <laughs> end of the map to sort that out and I've also got another kind of transport plan it's not something I think many people would do um, but I just find it kind of intriguing and it might be fun just have, see if it would work um, if we get around to that obviously you'll see it and I'll be describing it properly in the annotations as part of the speed build but yeah thank you very much for joining me today Hope you enjoy the rest of the, the episode, uh, the speed build section. And if you do, please leave us a like. It'd be very much appreciated. Just click that thumbs up button. Even better, though, if you've got any ideas, thoughts, suggestions, recommendations, even criticisms, whatever you feel like saying about the video uh, or the way I'm playing the game uh, or where you think I might or might not be heading, uh, just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be amazing. It'd be great to hear from you. And, of course, if you've not already done so, please subscribe to the channel. And that way you'll know when I, when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Transport Fever, enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll see you again soon. But until then, bye-bye for now.
Thank you.